This is George McCaslin coming to you from my home at the Indian Meadows Nursing Home. I am the online moderator for the Dad's House Educational Group found at www.dads-house.org. Today we will be reviewing the chapter on getting started in the Dad's House Membership Manual. The articles in this section of the manual are the most important in addressing not only family law problems with your ex, but also in always being prepared for future problems. A daily journal can be your number one piece of evidence in all aspects of a case, but most especially in dealing with false allegations of abuse. A good example of that aspect involved a Lenexa, Kansas father who filed for custody of his daughter in October after having been denied access to her for several months. The moment the mother of his child was served with papers, she went down to family court file for a restraining order. She claimed that in June, he had come by her house middle of the night and shot out the windows of her car. Further, that he had called her later to brag about it. She also produced a police report to show that the windows had been shot out. Now, the problem that arises here is how does he prove, let alone remember, what he had been doing besides sleep in the middle of the night for a month previous. He did this by means of a daily journal. On the night in question, there was a big storm in the Lenexa area, which is 30 miles from where the mother lived. During the storm, a large tree branch hanging over a neighbor's home fell, crashing through the roof the house. He had spent the night helping to remove Brad and cover the hole in the roof with a tarp. With his daily journal at the hearing on the restraining door, he was able to show that he was nowhere near the home of the mother and had notarized statements by witnesses to back him up. In a hearing where one must testify, the daily journal can be read while testifying on stand, just as a police officer can read from a notebook. However, the keeping of the daily journal must be precise in order for it to be considered legitimate. Of note on this, even if circumstances are such that the daily journal is never needed, it could be passed down to future generations to learn what life was like for you. Next in this section is a chronological statement. This item relates to both the daily journal as source material and to hiring of an attorney. When hiring an attorney to handle a family law case, one will be spending some period of time at attorney fees answering questions. This gives the attorney an overall view of the situation in preparation for representing your legal interests. Taking the time to prepare a chronological statement can save you time and money with the attorney and shows that you're much better prepared. The third article in the chapter addresses a highly misunderstood issue, that of recording personal conversations, whether in person or over a communication device such as a phone, with or without the knowledge of the party. The common belief is that it is illegal in all states, but the facts are that in only 11 states is it illegal to record without the permission of all parties involved. However, there is far more to this process than just recording the conversation in order for it to be admissible as evidence in a court of law. This article teaches you what needs to be done. That is a review of the Getting Started chapter of the Dad's House Manual. Take the time to study all the material found in the Dad's House Manual, for only through knowledge do we gain power over our lives. If you have not already done so, join Dad's House to discuss these issues with other fathers and learn from each other's experience. Also check out our sister group, the Second Wife Club for Stepmothers.